Hi, welcome to Virtual Echo. Virtual Echo is a program designed to help you perform realistic echocardiography from the comfort of your home. When you first open Virtual Echo, you'll see the screen split into two halves. The right hand panel shows a 3D model of a male torso. You can uh, control this view by right clicking your mouse and dragging so that you can look at the torso from any angle. You can also zoom in or out using your mouse wheel. The left hand panel shows you an echo view similar to what you see on a real echo machine that shows you the resulting view from moving the probe over the patient. Manipulating the probe is easy. Uh, moving the probe uh, is achieved by simply moving the mouse. To uh, rotate the probe you have two options. You can either, either use your mouse. You click and hold the left mouse button and scroll your mouse wheel up for anti-clockwise and down for clockwise rotation. Alternatively, you can use the uh, Z and X keys to rotate the probe. To tilt the probe, again you click and hold the left mouse button and you drag your mouse up, down, left and right. You can see here that the tilts happen relative to the axis of the probe and not the patient. This means that if I have the probe tilted at 45 degrees, such as in this example, and I click and hold and move straight up, the probe does not tilt straight up, it tilts at the same 45 degree angle. This helps so that you can uh, perform the echo while not looking at the patient, just looking at the view, similar to what you would do in real life. There are a number of other hotkeys that help uh, make your virtual echo experience a little, a little more educational. Let's start with the T key. The T key will make the skin transparent so that you can see what's going on behind. Uh, I can here see the rib cage and the heart. And you notice that when I have the probe over a rib, I lose the view and it becomes all fuzzy, similar to what happens in real life again. Uh, if I'm still learning and I don't want this, I can just press the R key, which will hide the rib cage and any interference caused by it. So I can now obtain the views freely without worrying about ribs. The next hotkey is the S key. The S key will hide this ultrasound sector. You can see the sector, this white arc thing coming out of the probe. This serves to help show you how the probe is cutting the heart exactly so that you can imagine how the view on the left is gotten. So pressing S will hide it and make things a little, more, a little bit more difficult and realistic. We have a set of guides that we can bring up and cycle between using the G key. This is the long parasternal. When I keep pressing the G key, I'll cycle between the different standard views and I can practice aligning my probe to them. I want to get an apical four chamber view. There I go. If I'm having trouble, getting it, I can simply press the N key and my probe will snap to the currently displayed guide. Pressing F1 will bring up a help menu with a lot of useful help topics about Echo and about how to use the program. And if you have the Pro Edition, pressing E will switch into transesophageal mode and that's discussed in a separate video. That's all there is to it. Start performing Echo and enjoy.